Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Janri. For today's video, I will teach you how to insert QR code in your form document using Autocrat in Google Sheets. Let's get started. Google Sheets is a web-based application that allows users to create, update, and modify spreadsheets and share it online. Ang Google Sheets ay free software na pwedeng gamitin online. Ang Autocrat ay isang add-on sa Google Sheets para makapag-merge tayo ng form document and data file. This feature was already discussed in my previous video. If you haven't watched my video about Autocrat in Google Sheets, I will leave a link here. Makakatulong ang previous video natin para mas maintindihan ninyo ang video natin ngayon. Ang QR code naman ay machine scannable image that can instantly be read using a smartphone camera and it will redirect you to a specific link address. Naagawa na tayo ng video on how to generate QR code in Google Sheets. The same procedure ang gagawin natin for this video. Kailangan natin ng tatlong bagay for this demo. First is form document at ang gagamitin natin is certificate. As what we did last time, naka-enclose ang labels sa dalawang less than and greater than symbol para ma-identify ito ng autocrat and this should be saved as Google Docs. Next is the data file, which contains all the data that we want to insert in our form document. That includes the QR code. The first row of the sheet will serve as a label of the data, and this will be saved as Google Sheets. Last is the link address na gagawa natin ng QR codes. Importante ang step na to para ma-access natin ang authenticity link ng ating certificates. For this demo, ang link address natin ay nanggaling sa ating verification files ng bawat recipients. Please do note that dapat nakashare to anyone with this link ang verification files para ma-access ito once we scan the QR code. I will now show you how to insert QR code in your form document using Autocrat in Google Sheets. First, open your data file. The data file contains all the data that you want to merge with the form document, including the link address na gagawa natin ng QR codes. As you can see, I have a separate column for authenticity link address followed by the column for the QR codes. I have here a special API QR code link from goqr.me for us to generate QR codes. We used it before in our video on how to generate QR codes. I will just leave the link here in the comment section below. Let's start to type the formula. Click the cell next to the first link address. Type equal quotation marks. Then copy the API QR code address. Then paste it in between the quotation marks. After that, click and encode URL. Open parenthesis, then click the first link address, then close parenthesis and click enter. As you can see, unlike to our previous video, hindi nag-generate ng image ang ating formula. That is what we need para ma-insert ang QR code sa ating form document. You can just drag the cell with the formula para magawa ng QR codes yung ibang link address natin. Don't forget to delete the API code here para hindi siya masama sa merging ng Autocrat. Let's start to merge the files. 
Click the Add-ons tab. Select Autocrat and click Open. Wait for the Autocrat to load. Then click New Job. First step is to name your job. For this demo, we will name it as QR Code X Autocrat Sample. Then click Next. Next is to choose a template. Since we already have our form document saved from our drive, we will just select From Drive. Then look for it. This is our form document. Click it and click select. Then click next. We are now selecting the source of our data. Click the merge tab. Then select sheet 1. As you can see, it automatically matched our data to our form document label. Pero, pwede nyo ding iselect manually yung data na gusto mong emerge sa mga form document label. For the QR code, you should change this tab to image. Since our QR code is an image. Kung hindi nyo ito gagawin, hindi mabasa ng ating autocrat ang ating QR code. If you're done matching your data, click Next. Now, you need to create a file name of your merged files. You can also add tags just like their full name para nakapangalan na sa recipient yung file nila. You can select a type of file if you want it to be a docs or PDF. Since this is a certificate, I will save my files as PDF. You may now click Next. Next is to select the destination of your files. Kanina, gumawa na ako ng separate folder para sa Autocrat Merge Files. We will just look into it and select it as our destination. Then click Next. Steps 6 and 7 are optional, so skip na natin yun. You can also share and send the files via email. But for this demo, hindi natin gagawin yun. Just leave it no, then click Next. Job triggers are automated generation of files. Maganda gamitin ito if your Google Sheets is constantly updating files or adding more recipients. For this demo, we will not use it. Just leave it and click Save. Our created job is now ready. We can now start merging the files by clicking the Run Job button. Wait for the job to accomplish merging. You can also exit this window and you will see on your sheet na may status report about the merging of the files. As you can see, all the documents were successfully merged. You can click the individual link to access the merge docs. But you can also go to the folder that we have selected before as our destination of the merge files. 
Once you open the folder, makita nyo na ang mga merge docs ay nakapangalan sa mga recipients ng certificates. You can also check if all the data were merged including the QR code. Let's now try if the QR code is working. I will use my phone to scan the QR code. First is open your camera. Then scan the QR code. When you scan the QR code, may magwapap sa taas and you need to click it para may direct ka sa authenticity file. As you can see, na-access natin ang authenticity file by scanning the QR code. And that is how you insert QR code in your form document using Autocrat in Google Sheets. Pwede nyo itong gamitin sa iba't ibang documents like certificates, report card, etc. I hope this video helped you. Please do like this video subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you will be notified if we have a new video. Thank you and see you in my next video.